Hey, what's up? Um, <clears throat> recently, as of late, rather, um, I've noticed that microdosing has been huge in the psychedelic community, and it's actually hit the mainstream. I saw articles on it in Forbes uh, magazine, um, just all over, like very... Uh, it's just widespread and they're talking about it being the new way to use psychedelics um, I think in theory that's awesome and I can see how it, it could provide um, some you know help or rather a neutro nootropic effect um, or when I say help I mean for folks that uh, maybe have anxiety or depression issues um, or ADD or whatnot, help people stay focused. I noticed that mushrooms really help me with um, after coming off of a good strong trip for about a month or two, I'm more focused on uh, single tasks until I complete them. Uh, I'm less obsessive over. Um, I don't get into obsessive loops in my head as bad etc so I do see some potential in that um, however I don't know if it requires a high dose for that to happen I've taken small doses and don't notice much from that however I haven't taken a small dose steady every third day or every second day or however it's recommended <clears throat> but just one one off type you know microdose hasn't really helped me much Now, one thing that is alarming about this, um, and has concerned me and kept me from just jumping into this, uh, I totally would do it if this wasn't an issue to me, but, so the heart contains 5-H... T2 receptors as well as various other parts of your body so when you take a psychedelic or a, any drug that activates those receptors it hits them everywhere my cat god damn it it hits all those receptor sites in your body your heart your stomach and, and gut I believe has these receptors uh, obviously the brain etc I'm not claiming to be a doctor or you know anything more than a fucking obsessive researcher into psychedelics because I'm fascinated with them and want to know everything I can about them but uh, so there has been some official studies in rats where MDMA was administer administered I, I don't remember the exact amount of time but it wasn't you know years it was a few months or so and it, what happened was the activation of the 5-H T2 receptors in the heart caused heart valve damage. <clears throat> and that's just MDMA. Maybe MDMA possibly could have a worse effect, you know, on the heart after, you know, we all know that MDMA is more toxic than the average psychedelics. Psychedelics are virtually non-toxic, but MDMA is a little bit more toxic not that you can't take it safely and live a long life but it is what it is it's more toxic chemical um, anyway so it activates the 5H god I hate saying this 5H H2 5H T2 receptors in the heart and causes valve damage after a while that's just in rodents now you might have, you might say well that's in, in, in rats and you know, there's nothing to worry about because rats are different. But there's also been another example of a drug or chemical taken regularly that caused heart valve damage. Um, and this happened in humans. This chemical binded to the heart um, 5-HT2 receptors. And it happened a decade or two ago. I don't know if any of you guys are familiar with the diet supplement drug Fen Fen. It had those binding capabilities. Um, so that happened 
and I don't know, there was a huge controversy. They removed it from the market. People, you know, were suing, and people died from it, from just taking it for, you know, maybe a year or so. So, taking psychedelics once a month, twice a month, four times a month, once a week, whatever, may not be that harmful, but taking them every day and activating that receptor site in the heart may be. That's the problem. We don't know for sure, but there is some evidence to support it being a concern, in my opinion. Um, <clears throat> so, basically... I wish there were more studies on this first before I jumped into microdosing. I am curious about it. I am interested. But like I said, we know that activation of the 5-HT 5-HT2 receptor in the heart will can cause heart valve damage in rats. And we know it can cause heart valve damage in at least some cases in humans. So, anyway, what... See, what I don't understand or what I don't know and I have a question about that may may make this, you know, you may be asking, well, should I even touch psychedelics then? Should I maybe only use them once a year? Um, it's quite possible. But we don't have a long, you know, we don't have a history of, of you know, people have been using them for a long time. And we just don't know. We can't, we don't have any... Uh, evidence of someone having heart valve damage and being able to trace it back to their use. I'm sure there's people with heart valve damage, but they just couldn't trace it back to where it came from. Maybe there were excessive users of psychedelics or whatnot, but we just don't know. However, here's what I think, it's a, just a hypothesis. What if taking psychedelics, you know, once in a while, gives your heart time to repair itself from the the beating that that causes it and whatnot. No pun intended. Uh, so you take mushrooms, you know, say January 4th. And then your next dose is February 12th. So you had pretty much just over a whole month for your heart to recuperate from that. So if you continue to do that up until you're, you know, late 80s uh, perhaps there's just no damage because you've been spreading it out enough <clears throat> um, but when you take them daily there it could possibly you know not give your heart a chance to recuperate go ahead and like subscribe comment below I'm curious what you guys think any of you have concerns about this um, do some research you'll see what I'm talking about it's a very real concern alright guys